Hey everyone, welcome to the psychology lecture series. In this video, we are going to talk about Wilhelm Dilthe. Wilhelm Dilthe was born on 19th November 1833 in German Confederation and died on October 1, 1911 in Austria-Hungary province, now Italy, aged 77. As the son of a reformed pastor, Dilthe followed family traditions by studying theology at Heidelberg University. In 1864, Dilthe received his doctorate from Berlin with a thesis in Latin on Schleiermacher's ethics and in the June of the same year, he also earned his habilitation with a thesis on moral consciousness. Wilhelm Dilthe is known for hermeneutics. Frederick Schleiermacher founded the modern field of hermeneutics. Wilhelm Dilthe helped to revive it. Both of these persons are linked to German Romanticism. Hermeneutics is the theory and methodology of interpretation, especially the interpretation of biblical texts, wisdom literature and philosophical texts. Modern hermeneutics include both verbal and non-verbal communication. Wilhelm Dilthe argued that scientific explanation of nature must be completed with a theory of how the world is given to human beings through symbolically mediated practices. To provide such a theory is the aim of the philosophy of the humanities. Wilhelm Dilthe dedicated his entire academic career for this. In his work ideas concerning a descriptive and analytical psychology, he introduced a distinction between explanatory psychology, also known as explanative psychology, and descriptive psychology, also known as analytic psychology. In his terminology, explanatory psychology is the study of psychological phenomena from a third-person point of view, while descriptive psychology is a discipline that attempts to explicate how different mental processes converge in the structural nexus of consciousness. In 1911, Dilthe developed a typology of the three basic worldviews. In naturalism, represented by Epicureans of all times and places, humans see themselves as determined by nature. In the idealism of freedom or Subjective idealism, represented by Frederick Schiller and Immanuel Kant, humans are conscious of their separation from nature by their free will. In objective idealism, represented by G. W. F. Hegel, Baruch Spinoza and Giordano Bruno, humans are conscious of their harmony with nature. Dilthe's students include Bernhard Rothesen, Hans Lips, Hermann Noll, Theodor Litt, Edward Spranger, George Misch, and Eric Rothacker. Dilthe's philosophy also influenced the religious philosopher Martin Buber. Some of the selected works of Wilhelm Dilthe are Introduction to the Human Sciences, Understanding the Human World, Selected Works of Wilhelm Dilthe, The Formation of the Historical World in the Human Sciences, Hermeneutics and the Study of History, Poetry and Experience, and Ethical and Worldview Philosophy. In the next video, let's talk about Logical Empiricism. I hope you like these videos. Please share these videos with everyone who is preparing for this exam. Thank you.